With Rockstar's newest Red Dead Online update, we have new payout changes where players can earn tons of money fast and easy while playing some of the most fun and intense content in the game. It's something many players can take advantage of right now, and in today's video, I'll be walking you through my own strategy to earn thousands of extra dollars with these bonuses this week, so you can come out on top as well. Welcome back to the channel everyone, you're a part of the most loyal Red Dead community out there, so if you enjoyed this video at any point, or if you just find it helpful, let me know by dropping a like on today's video, and if you'd like to stay up to date and in the loop with everything Red Dead Redemption 2 and Red Dead Online, consider hitting that subscribe button with your bell notifications turned on. So this is a two-part guide, and part one and two should be marked accordingly in the timestamps on screen and in the description, so let's kick off this video strong with part one right now. Legendary bounties are paying out 50% extra money and XP this week, and I recommend you take 10 minutes to complete these bounties, just like the free roam bounties for optimal money payouts. There's a second part of our money-making strategy for this week that's contingent on the legendary bounty cooldown timer of 48 minutes being spent in free roam. However, if you're only interested in legendary bounties, you can just wait for the golden money payout cap at 30 minutes to secure a very easy $339. But if you're looking to maximize money-making this week and be a totally unstoppable cash stacking machine, I recommend you continue watching. While all legendaries are paying out 50% extra this week and you can do any bounty to take advantage of that bonus, some still have a higher base payout than others, which means you should focus on those if you're looking to take complete advantage of this week's payout changes. The most lucrative legendary bounties with the highest base payout are Virgil Edwards, Tobin Winfield, Red Ben Clemson, and the infamous Edda Doyle bounties. Red Ben Clemson is probably the most work because you'll need to transport three targets alive, and on the flip side, I think Edda Doyle is the easiest because there is a cheesing method that you could take advantage of if you really want to not waste any time at all. All that's needed is for you to hide out away from the bounties and wait for the imposter Edda Doyles to disappear from the map, and you'll be left with the real bounty target. From there, just pop a tonic so you don't get shot and die while you hogtie Edda Doyle, and from there, you can just wait until the 10 minutes mark to turn her in. I personally prefer to hide out in the tunnel found within the grounds of the rendezvous location, but you can choose your own favorite hiding spot if you like a different one better. No matter which of these bounties you're doing, you will earn $258 and 24 gold nuggets just for spending 10 minutes on these bounties. And let's just say if you get bored of farming these four missions, well, you can still play the others and make a lot of money this week. Carmela Montez, Jeanbo Finley, Yukon Nick, Philip Carlier, and the Owl Hoot family pay out $187.50 for 10 minute completion times on the bounties, and finally, the lowest paying bounties are Barbarella Alcazar, Cecil C. Tucker, and the Wolfman, which all pay $150 for 10 minutes spent on those missions. So congrats, you've started and you've completed a legendary bounty. Now, what do you do while legendary bounties are on that 48 minute cooldown timer before you can start another? Here's where part two of our money making strategy for this week comes into play. The second part of this week's money guide and the free roam aspect of it involve your trader and moonshiner roles if you have them, plus your choice of focusing on stranger missions, free roam bounties, and specifically the infamous ones, blood money contracts, or preferably those bounty hunter free roam events as those are also paying out double money and double XP this week. If you're keen on taking full advantage of that double payout bonus for Bounty Hunter Free Roam events, check out the Red Dead Online Free Roam event schedule on the screen right now. This is accurate for the central time zone in the US, but you can just Google a certain time in your own time zone to get the correct time for you to start these events. And I'll also include a link for this Free Roam event schedule down in the description below for your convenience. The events that you want to look out for this week are one, the Day of Reckoning Free Roam event and the Manhunt Free Roam event. There's also some cool bonuses if you complete those this week, like a reward for 30% off the bounty. Bounty Hunter Wagon, which by the way does stack with this week's blanket discount on the Bounty Wagon as well, so you can get it for really cheap this week. The one important thing to note with these events is they only come up every so often, so it's not necessarily something you can grind back to back to back like other missions in game. So in the case that there are no double money free roam events available for you to play right now while you're waiting for your legendary bounty cooldown timer to complete, try some other free roam content like the infamous bounties, blood money contracts, or even the normal free roam bounties or stranger missions. I would recommend infamous bounties though as they pay out the most for both 9 minutes, 10 minutes, or even 12 minutes spent on those missions. Whatever your time preference is depending on if you're just chasing cash, gold, or both at the same time, and there are some pretty cool storylines included with these missions. These infamous bounties are unique to each bounty board that you'll find across the open world, and while they also have a cooldown timer, you can just head to a different bounty board 
to start a different infamous bounty storyline, and you can challenge yourself to grind a loop of three to four different bounty boards and get part one of each at each location finished before your legendary bounty cooldown timer finishes. When it does finish though, you'll want to take care of your trader and moonshiner businesses again, do any deliveries or resupplies if needed, and then get back to running another legendary bounty mission. And say for example, you completely omit infamous bounties and you just use your free roam time to stock up materials for trader and e or even just do nothing if you want. If you can manage to complete four legendary bounties, four moonshiner deliveries, and one trader delivery in four to five hours of playtime, you're looking at total earnings earnings of $2,561. That's $1,032 for the legendary bounties, $904 for the moonshiner deliveries, and then $625 for the 100 good trader wagon sold at a long distance. Then from there, you can add an extra few hundred dollars earned from completing infamous bounties in the free room in your free time, and you're getting very close to $3,000 earned over the course of that four to five hours play time. This game doesn't have to all be about grinding, but for me personally, I love seeing how efficient I can be with money and gold grinding and weeks like this motivate me to really push the game's limits to see just what's possible. But the best part is, if you're not that type of player, and you more just want to like chill or hang out in game, that's totally okay as well, because if you follow this strategy at your own pace, and you can do it in segments throughout the week, you'll still come out on top of this week with a successful grind if you follow all these tips. So just as a recap, when it comes to your daily grind this week, while you run a legendary bounty every 48 or so minutes, try to squeeze in 3 to 4 infamous bounties during the cooldown of each legendary bounty, and my strategy for this week will be using a legendary bounty and completing that to start off the day, followed by getting my Moonshiner production started, making sure Trader is good to go, and then completing three infamous bounty missions. And in the final time I have left until my legendary bounty cooldown timer is finished, I can start a new one. I'll deliver my Moonshine, which just completed producing, buy more supplies for camp, and start my second legendary bounty. And then once I complete that again, I'll be back in free roam. And the 10 minutes would have passed for my supplies to get delivered at my camp for Trader to start producing again. And basically, my goal with this week's money bonuses and payout changes is to be as efficient as possible with one, legendary bounties and also infamous bounties. And right before and after I start a legendary bounty, I'll take care of my moonshine and trader roll businesses in the free room. I know it sounds like a lot to keep track of if you're not used to playing in this way, but this is the type of high energy play style that keeps me engaged with this game. And with all that said, I think that's all we have time for today, and we're going to wrap things up right here. Hopefully, you all enjoyed the video today, and if you did, hopefully, I earned your like on it. And of course, if you are new to the channel and you want to stay up to date with all the best Red Dead Online and Rockstar Games content, consider hitting that subscribe button so you don't miss out on a single thing. We consistently talk about updates, news, information, tips, tricks, and even leaks, and we'll keep you guys updated here on the channel daily. So make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you also want to follow me over on Twitch, Twitter, and Instagram, those are the best places to get connected with me outside of YouTube, and you're more than welcome to ask me any questions on those platforms. You can follow me at HazardousHDTV, and all of my social media links can be found in the description down below. That being said, thank you all so much for watching. Hope you all have a fantastic day, and I will see you guys in the next Red Dead online video. Adios, amigos.